Today I'm going to show you how I made this delicious, smoky, overnight brisket on the pellet smoker. Hello there, my name's John. If you haven't been to the channel yet, I really do appreciate you stopping by. If you've been here before, thanks for coming back. We've done this once before, but we're going to try to do it a little bit better this time. We're going to do another overnight brisket. I picked up a USDA Prime from Alpine Steakhouse here in Sarasota. It's about a 14 pound brisket. Um, looks like it's going to be a really nice one. There's not a lot of silver skin on here to have to deal with. A little bit of trimming that we're going to have to do. Um, this is a prime brisket. You can do choice. Um, we chose to do a prime just to get a little bit better, better end result. We'll get this trimmed up. And for the rub, we're going to do sea salt, black pepper, granulated garlic, we're also going to rub it down with some Worcestershire sauce to uh, get everything to stick on there. So let's get this bad boy going. Add it down. See what we're working with. I already see this ends a little bit thin, so we're gonna probably cut it up into here to get rid of this guy right here. trimmed off you can see what you're working with as far as the fat layer Saw somebody do this with one of these. We'll see if it works. I'm gonna get that all rendered down. I think I like the smaller knife better. I'll try to leave about a quarter inch on here. These funky bits off. This hard fat on the back we're gonna have to get off. Now to debate, I've been uh, debating whether to cook it fat side down or fat side up. Leave a comment, let me know which way you guys like to do it. I've seen mixed reviews both ways. Some people say always fat side up. I think that's what they do in Texas. And I've seen other people say do fat side down. So I don't know if the fat side down helps protect the meat on top. But uh, let me know what you think, which way you want, you would do it. Now we're going to get what we can out of here, salvage all the meat, grind it up, make some burgers. This colored meat here too, we'll get that off. Alright, so it's pretty thin down here, so kind of want at least an inch. Kind of want to round it off. No expert on trimming brisket, but should do okay. Not terrible. This guy a little bit more. Now we got a nice one inch plus end piece that shouldn't shouldn't burn. Hopefully, there it is. 
this seasoned up. And then they lose the cutting board. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but I put some cellophane wrap down. Being that we're doing the overnight cook, I want to let it rest in the refrigerator probably for it's three o'clock now, probably put it on 10 o'clock. So for the next probably five hours in the refrigerator, and then we'll take it out and uh, let it get warmed up a little bit. It's not gonna warm up a bunch in a couple hours, but we'll go ahead and get that pulled out of the refrigerator in a little bit. But I put cling film down on the counter. One, make it a little bit easier to clean up once we're done. And also I'm gonna use that to wrap the brisket in and put it back in the refrigerator, so. And I think I'm gonna do fat side up. So we'll start on this side. Don't need a lot, just enough to get stuff sticking. All right, we're gonna start with our Jacobson kosher sea salt. It'll be pretty liberal on this, but it's a big cut of meat. This is optional, but I think it does add a nice flavor. Or you can use any type of risky rub that you can buy in the store. And black pepper. Spicers. Basically, this is just going to dry brine in the refrigerator. Next five or six hours. Probably could do it overnight. I don't think it would hurt anything. If you're going to do it this way, though, you may want to touch up some of the pepper and stuff because it may, once you unwrap it, it may not be as pretty as you might like. So we'll probably touch that up when we go to put it on the pellet smoker. And today we're going to be using the Yoder Smoker is YS640. And probably going to try to set it up for like 190 overnight so we don't have any worries about it getting too overdone. And we're going to, uh, of course, do hickory on that. I'll put a smoke tube in there too to uh, add a little bit of extra smoke in there. And I'll show you guys that later. So hopefully this plan works out here. Okay. It'll work out all right. So no counter to clean. And we'll put that in the refrigerator and let it rest. Once we get the Yoder smoker fired up, we'll show you that and I'll show you the smoke tube that we have too that uh, will add a little bit extra smoke to it, so.
look before it gets on the smoker. You can see some of the moisture is starting to come up. Means that salt's penetrating, it should be really good. Ground up all the beef fat, make beef tallow. All right guys, beautiful night out. It's uh, nine o'clock right now, so I'm about an hour earlier than I thought I was gonna put it on, but that should be fine. We've got it rocking at like 195. Got the smoke tube in there. Almost had a major disaster on that. Had it a little too close to the door when I opened it. So I've got our smoke tube in there, beef tallow underneath the brisket, catch any drippings. I'm gonna do a foil boat method when we go to wrap it at probably 165-ish or so. Um, sometime in the morning I'm gonna do a foil boat but I'm also gonna do butcher paper over the top and then ro roll the, the um, foil boat up into the butcher paper it's gonna do two things it's gonna release some of the steam so we can keep some of our bark that we form and it's also gonna keep the fat and everything in there so hopefully the bottom of the brisket stays nice and moist so we'll check back in the morning see what see how it's looking may take a sneak peek later tonight, we'll see. All right, it's been uh, probably a couple hours since we wrapped this, and let's take a look, see what we got. Put some beans in there too. A little extra sausage.
that's like butter right there. So we probably got about 15 more minutes and we'll get her off. All right, it's been rocking at 250 for about 12 hours now, a little over 12 hours. that off get it in this cooler a towel in there and we'll let it rest probably for about three hours so is this in the frame <laughs> yeah that's where the yep. some linkage because you got a trough there yeah I know, but I know. not big enough trough <laughs> oh, I guess not. It's a common problem. Linkages? Linkages. <laughs> Don't sneeze. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, we'll see how we did. To uh, recap, we started with a 14 pound brisket, did some trimming on it, um, put it on the pellet smoker last night, probably about 10 o'clock, I think, and uh, let it rock at about 195. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Sorry. I, 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 just, I, doing? Okay. I was just going to be tall like you. Know, <laughs> 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 okay. All right. All right. Well, let's see how we did. All right. <laughs> All right. Do a little recap here and see how we did. Um, started with a 14 pound brisket, did some trimming on it. Put it on the pellet grill last night at about 10 o'clock, I think. And we ran it till this morning, about 195 um, until I think seven. And then I cranked, I bumped the temperature up to 225. And then once it got to it about 165 or so, I think we, we did the foil boat on that. You saw that and then we uh, put the butcher paper on there too. So it would, Release some of the steam. Oh, it smells so good. It smells good. I got my buddy. I Steve. thought it was just John that smelled like smoke. <laughs> <laughs> got my buddy it's Steve. Just, it's the brisket. Too. And this is probably gonna make a little bit. Edit all this stuff out. <laughs> <laughs> it's like go up. I got like this. Yeah. Juicy. <laughs> a little bit of leakage. Seems like it's done well. All right. It's definitely juicy. Mm. Oh. How's she looking? She's looking good. Mm. Let's see how the point end or the flat end is. Definitely, I think we did better than the first attempt at it. Mm. A little bit of smoke so ring. Watch the days. All right, if you insist. Mmm. <laughs> 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 That's it. That one melts in your mouth right there. I normally don't use just fat like that. That's good. All right, let us know how we did.